On Thursday, June 23rd, the British people surprised the pundits and voted to leave the European Union. Now, the markets reacted quickly, pounding the pound to 30-year lows and causing a pullback in stock markets around the world. The Dow dropped 600 points the very next day. The next week, I got a couple of phone calls that highlight one of the most important skills successful investors possess. The Brexit vote is a significant event, and it should spawn a great deal of political and economic news. We have several thoughts on those issues and what it means going forward for your investments on the blog page of our website, moisandfitzgerald.com. It's in a post titled, What Moisand Fitzgerald Tamayo Thinks About the Brexit Vote. But for this video message, we want to talk about the two calls that inspired us to write a column for Financial Advisor Magazine. You see, the first call that I got from a client after the vote wasn't about the vote at all or the market's reaction to the vote. I had to bring up the subject of Brexit and was told basically that one reason the client works with us is so that he doesn't have to worry about assessing what to do and what not to do after a market moving event. The second call came from a guy I didn't know named Bob that was completely freaked out by the whole affair. The skill that our client has, that Bob has not yet developed, is that our client has learned to manage his intake of news. Now, he's a well-informed person, and he knew about the vote and that the market had dropped, but he also knew not to get worked up and do anything based on his emotional reaction to the news. Bob, on the other hand, he watched the news all weekend. That Monday when the Dow dropped again, he found himself panicky and called me. My client has learned that managing his news intake reduces his news-related stress. Bob has yet to realize that he himself is causing his own problem. He's stressing himself out based on how he takes in the news and what he does with that information. The column I mentioned, it goes into more detail about why there's such a difference between the two people and how staying informed doesn't have to be stressful. The column has some good examples and some tips, and we included a link to it in the aforementioned post on our blog page. It's worth a read. The bottom line is, focus on what you can control and know you can control your intake of news and how you react to it. Now, if you need help developing that skill or have questions, feel free to contact us. We would love to hear from you.